And thanks to the city of Indianapolis, we now have running water again. Hundreds of people who live at two Southside apartment complexes after the city of Indianapolis stepped in to help. It is a resolution to a story we've been following all week. Good evening to you at 11 o'clock. I'm Mark Mullen. And I'm Nicole Griffin. The mayor's office reached a deal with Citizens Energy this afternoon to restore running water at Berkeley Commons and Capitol Place Apartments. Utility crews shut off the water yesterday since the management group Aloft, which Citizens Energy says is also owned by the nonprofit JPC, had a very large unpaid past due utility bills. Citizens Energy says it never managed to reach a payment arrangement with the property owner. WRTV's Rachel Wilkerson spoke to tenants who say this should have never happened. Residents are thanking the city tonight for stepping in. They say it's been a rough 24 hours without water. It's just bad. It's horrible. Adam Nemick lives at Berkeley Commons. He says not having running water has been a nightmare. We went and bought a bunch of water from you know, the store and we've been filling the tanks up on the toilet so we can keep the toilets run, uh, flushing and, you know, water and stuff like that, you know, for washing our hands and doing dishes and, you know, because it came out of nowhere. The health department had 150 porta potties, 70 sinks and around 50 sanitizing stations placed throughout both complexes today to ease the burden on residents. We saw people carrying water buckets on their head and sharing water bottles with neighbors. Perry Township school counselors and staff were also on site today helping students in need of water and showers. We had 700 yeah. school age children that were impacted by the water being turned off. Mm -hmm. 700 Perry Township students. Yeah. On Thursday, Thursday, the Marion County Public Health Department issued the management property two citations for each property for failing to provide water to tenants. Today, the department began filing these citations in court with fines up to $2,500 each. Residents want to know how this could happen when utilities are paid with their rent. So that's the most irritating thing. Where'd my money go? We pay money every month for our water and who's got it? I'd like to know who's got it. The mayor's office says it's pleased it can restore the water service and it plans to use every resource available to hold the property owner of these complexes responsible. What would you like to say to the city now that they're footing the bill? Uh, I'd like to say thank you to them for, you know, bailing everybody out here because like there's a lot of men, women and children here who needed water and uh, they need to do something about Aloft management and the owners of this place. Thank you for looking out for us because obviously this place doesn't care. Working for you, Rachel Wilkerson, WRTV. Residents with housing complaints or concerns can call the health department at 317-221-2150. The city says by working with the Marion County Public Health Department partners and the community, it will ensure residents have access to basic services and stable housing moving forward.